it's official. Now she doesn't even say a word to me. She's always reading them books. Maybe she needs something to cheer up. A change of scenery, not just blue sky, blue sea. I don't lock it anymore. Not at all? No. Then just wait. Couldn't we go and buy some food? Mm -hmm. Buy? Yeah, in a town. There's shops there and you can pop into a shop and say, I'll have some cabbage, some fresh meat, and a bag of carrots, please. And then they give it to you and you pay for them. Hey. Full them. Yes. With money. Pay for them with money? Take a bath, you know. We could go in disguise. Yes, can we please, Captain? It's my dream to see a real life town. Do you think it will work, Percy? It ain't gonna work. What if it doesn't? Well, look. If it doesn't, we'll go right back to right. I promise I'll. Flounder fins, I'll pay for everything. Yeah! yeah good good idea. Idea. All right. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> the people of White Rock saw the magnificent ship approaching in the distance. We pirates did our best to disguise ourselves as respectable citizens. And when we and when we pirates disembarked, people were looking at us, but in a nice, friendly way. And no one t tried to throw us in jail, which was a good thing. So we pirates went in search of food. Oh, <laughs> 
you've been doing is such powerful appetites? Well, um, see, we've been sailing the oceans of the world, ma'am, from east and west to north and south, and now we are coming home to settle. Um, that depends on, uh... The weather! Oh, the weather is very nice here. Although all the, all the people of the town are sad because the surface is gone. The pathway last week ended after a lovely run. People don't know what to do for themselves now. A circus? What's that? Oh, you know. Tightrope walkers, gymnastic clowns. You should have seen, you should have seen the clouds tripping over their big feet. How we laugh and banging their noses, and the type of walker doing those cartwheels on a narrow roof. rope. I thought for sure she was going to fall. Shame, I would love to see a circus. Well, now, folks, we must be getting along now, and now, as we are usually do, we must. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, yeah, quite so. Uh. Aha, watch! Oh, dear me! It won't be that much! Oh. Um, well, this too? Sure. I have to spill all our money out of this thing. Good day, Miss Smith. Goodbye. the captain's idea. It was a way of making money, not taking money, which is pretty controversial right there. <laughs> but Percy wasn't sure he wanted to be a landlubber, nor was Corky. But they all agreed that they would try for Violet. So they set to work. First, they booked a piece of pier for two weeks. Then they took down their sails and began sewing. The sheet of canvas grew bigger and bigger. The townspeople grew more and more curious. So did the, ch the school children that Violet played with when they were not in school. Finally, Finally, the pirates put up a sign. Saturday, 7 p.m. No one knew what was going to happen at Saturday, 7 p.m., but a big crowd showed up anyway. All right, you land lovers, step this way to Pence's Peaks for the thrill of your lives. Thank you, thank you, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Silence! I'm the captain and everyone has to do what I say. Okay, here's the show. And don't forget to clap after each act, or I'll skin you landlubbers alive. 
well. <laughs> there it is, right here. It usually works. That, that's it. Right there. That's the trick. Dang! <laughs> it usually works. It did work. It didn't work at <laughs> rehearsal either. And now, for our very next act, we will have... Corky and Franklin in their clowning around. 